Hello, today I will be talking about the crypto locker virus. Now, I've just had a customer's machine brought to me which has been affected by this virus. Now, basically, how this virus functions, if you don't know, is um, it'll go through and it will encrypt all your files. And it's just a real nasty bit of software. So, I have worked out after a few days of research how to not only shut the virus down, that's the easiest part, but decrypt the files that you need back. Because, like most people, this customer didn't have a backup. And it is running Windows Vista, so the use of shadow files was not really implemented on it. So, basically today, that's what I'm going to talk about. Is how to decrypt your files. Now, you'll notice when I go into my pictures folder here, we will have a how decrypt how decrypt and another how decrypt over there. Now there's a text file, there's a web address and then there's another file there but they all basically link up to this ransom part. Now there's your encryption level there RSA-2048 now that's quite a high level but basically it says there that you have a certain amount of time and after that amount of time your files will no longer be able to be restored and the key is located only on a secret server. Now that is a load of garbage. These guys have not been quite that smart when they have created this virus. In fact, there's actually a copy of the encryption key on the computer. Now the direct whereabouts of it's not really that important. I mean, I've searched for it on here and yeah, it's not really that important to find. Now, one way of finding out if your files are decrypted, say if we go into a photo, I'll just find a folder there. All right, in there. And then straight away you'll notice, if we preview it, cannot open. Now, I'll just make a copy of this on the desktop just because it's easier to demonstrate for the video. Now, if I open this up in a text file, this will give you the coding for the picture. <coughs> now, straight away, you'll see a cryptid part in the top corner there, which is a fair indication that the photo has been encrypted. Now, what I have found on the web is a couple of bits of software that you will need to do this. Now, I will try and put these in a link under the video. Failing that, I will leave an email address there and you can feel free to contact me and I'll email these couple of programs to you. Now, I did not create these programs. I found them on the web, so... Firstly, what you need to run out of the two there is Crypto Offense. Now run that, and you will see a command prompt will pop, will pop up. Now see there, 2048 not exportable, success. So that's basically notified you that there has been a key found. Crypto Defense Characteristics. So found and matching, there you go. So we'll close that. Now this other bit of software here. Decrypt Crypto Defense. Now this will not run unless there is a key present on the system. Now the way you'll know is the program will either open up or you will receive a message that says there's no, no applicable key found and if that's the case then you don't have this virus. However on this machine it opens because there is a key present. So there you go. Now by default it will list your main directory. So now this computer has two partitions on it, so uh, for demonstration purposes I'm going to remove these two partitions and just tell it to set to a particular spot. Now just before I do it I'll just copy these couple of files because from 
default on the virus. The rest of these files will be there too. So I'll just copy the two, that'll be enough. Now please make sure, before you attempt any data recovery, etc., make sure that this virus has been closed. I cannot stress that enough. Um, on this PC, it has been cleaned off, it's been all properly removed. So there's no dramas there. Now, there's the three files that we will be looking at with the program. Now, I'll just open that back up again. That one, that's a nice fresh one. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to tell it where to look. So we'll go Add Folder. Now, because the files I need are just on the desktop, we'll just leave it at that. We'll click OK. Now, there you go, it's told it where to search. Then all you do is you just hit Decrypt. Now, straight away you'll notice DSC underscore triple zero one. It's scanning. And you'll notice that correlates with that at the top there. Now, don't be scared if it says not responding, that's normal. Uh, well, it is on this machine anyway because it's not running properly, so it's under quite a bit of load. And this decryption does take a fair bit of whack out of the performance of the machine, depending on what you have. So based on what computer you have, it could take a long time or it could be short. So you just have to have the patience with it. But within the next couple of minutes, we should have a result. Because this is just a cheapy compact laptop with a Core 2 Duo processor. So nothing spectacular, but it does the job. The operating system we're on here is Windows Vista. But it should work across the rest of the operating systems. So we'll keep on waiting. We should have a result soon. So yeah, once again, I'm only doing one picture just for the video demonstration. Now you could choose to do your whole hard drive at once or get the segments you want at the particular time. So Now you'll notice at the top there it says loaded private key from supplied secret key file. So that also reiterates that there is a key present on the system. So hopefully we'll have a result shortly. Now this also works for documents and whatever else is on the computer there that this virus has got into. So within the next little bit we'll have a result. I apologise for the dodgy recording, but it's the best I can do at the time. There you go, now we have a result. Now it says two ransomware files were found, or notes. Notice those two that were directly under the picture there are gone. So it counts the HTML, the URL, and the text file as a ransom note. Now generally, based on each directory, there should be three of those. And then it says one file successfully decrypted. Now, if you look at the photo up the top there, now we have the preview restored. So if we double click on it and open it up, there you go, there's the image, now fully functional. So, yeah. So that is one way I have found to decrypt the files that are encrypted by crypto locker virus. So, hopefully it helps you out, as it did for me. And once again, I did not make that software, I just found it on the web. So, good luck, and thank you for watching.